This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I review my quad lock phone mount. So, I received my quad lock. Um, I ordered it directly from quad lock, and it looks like they took a page out of Amazon shipping. I have these two small boxes and a very large box. So this box here uh, has the one inch ball adapter. I have a RAM mount on my bike already. So I thought this might be a good solution. And then so everybody knows what kind of phone I have. This is the, the case for the Note 9 and it's uh, in its box. The quad lock case uh, slips on a phone just like many other cases. It slips on nice and snug. There's this uh, back part uh, that has the quad part, I guess. It's got these four notches in there. And uh, those four notches will slip on to the, uh, the adapter. So the adapter I have is uh, just goes on the RAM mount. So if you're familiar with how that works, that's exactly how you put it on there. It has a little sleeve thing. Uh, fits over the ball that's uh, mounted on the bike and flips over the ball uh, for the adapter and uh, and then it's good to go. Uh, I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, it was my first time I used it was for my trip up to the Smoky Mountains. Uh, I, I put it on, headed down the interstate to uh, to meet up with my dad and uncle for lunch and uh, it was rock solid. The thing did not move. That's allowing me to use Android Auto. So I'm pretty excited to use Android Auto. Uh, with my SIN, I just push the phone button and I can ask it to reroute. Uh, and I did exactly that. Uh, I headed out. I was headed to one particular place to meet up with them, uh, Fort Payne, Alabama. Uh, but then after I got going a little bit, I decided I should, I should change it. And so I met them at uh, Mintone, Alabama. Uh, we met there for lunch at the Wildflower Cafe. I'll have another video where I talk about the trip. Uh, but I went around 900 miles. Uh, the uh, the mount worked flawlessly. One thing I would change is I have a fairly long charging cord, so I've wrapped it around uh, the part that sticks out from the handlebars. Uh, I'd like to get a shorter cord just so I don't have to mess with that. I can just plug everything in and go. Um, I never left my phone on the bike as I walked away. I did sometimes leave that cord. A little nervous about it because, I mean, that's something pretty easy someone could grab. Um, but nobody did. It worked out fine. Uh, if you want to hear more about the trip, I do have an upcoming video. Uh, check that out as I review uh, the roads we went on in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, Tell the Dragon was one of them. Didn't get video this time, but you can check out my other video on the Tell the Dragon. But if you'd like to see more videos like this, more review videos, uh, hit that like button, that subscribe button. I'll have more coming up. Uh, do comment below what types of things you'd like to see. Uh, I do have lots of ride videos and again uh, a lot of footage coming up. I got another trip planned to go up there, ride some of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, so if you want to know more about the Blue Ridge Parkway, put a comment down below so I know what you're looking for. Well, until next time, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.